Hey, everybody, the Jimmy Dore Show has a new sponsor. This portion of the Jimmy Dore Show is brought to you by the Shadow Government. Our thousands of employees work hard every day to keep up the illusion that you have control over your lives. The Shadow Government, saving you from mass extermination by promoting ignorance and pliability for over 200 years. The Shadow Government, because there's nothing you can do about it. Now back to the Jimmy Dore Show, already in progress. Well, it's a nice sponsor. You got to pay the bills. <laughs> so um, if you want to know what a Democrat should sound like, because this is the theme that's uh, being revealed, is that the Democrats don't have a message. And the only message they have is we're not Trump. I'm talking about the Democrats in charge. I'm talking about Democrats uh, who are elected. I'm talking about Democrats like Tom Perez, who's the head of the DNC. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Those kind of Democrats, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, the leaders. They have no message, no vision. They have no plan. Where's their new deal for America? America wants a new deal. What's their new deal? Here is someone, uh, here's Nina Turner. She was down at a, Missis at a rally at a Nissan plant that they're trying to unionize in Mississippi. You know, Nissan, let me just give you a tip. This is how effed up the United States is. This is how bad things are here. This is how, bad, this is how corrupt and bought our politicians are. Nissan has 43 plants worldwide. 43. Nissan has 43 plants that makes cars worldwide. Three, 40 of them are union. Three of them aren't. You know where those three are? In America. Oh. Wow. Okay. So here we go. Here's Nina Turner. And they, she was asked... Uh, she was asked, like, here's when someone asks, hey, what, what, what should the, the Democrats be talking about? What should they be doing? They should be talking about unions. They should be talking about unions, which is exactly what she's doing. And here's, here it goes. Unions is not just for the union households, but in this country, as we know, when unions get better wages and better work conditions, it lifts the tide for every single worker. And so we should care about what's happening to our sisters and brothers in Canton, Mississippi. So we were speaking to folks here today, and they, they were thrilled that you were here, that Bernie Sanders is here, Dan, Andy Glover is here, but but they want to see more Democrats out here. They want I to see too. Yeah. I want to see more Democrats out here, too. What separates Democrats from some Republicans, because I'm not going to say all Republicans, what we need are people of good consciousness and people who have titles. You know, titles are good, but purpose is better. And so we need people on the state level and the federal level of government to care about the plight of the workers here in Canton, Mississippi, to care about the plight of workers all over this country and step into the arena like I am and like Senator Bernie Sanders and like a Danny Glover and so many other people who have come here to show solidarity with the workers of Canton, Mississippi. People need to act and everybody can act. So that's what the Democrats should be saying. That's what they should be doing and sounding like. That's what Barack, that's in action what Barack Obama only said in words when he said, you know, when you are, if someone's not uh, respecting your union and you are on a picket line, I'm going to put on a soft shoe, a comfortable shoe, and I'm going to join you on the picket line. And of course, Barack Obama turned his back on those union workers. And as soon as it came up, he turned his back on them, didn't give them card check. He turned his back on the Wisconsin teachers, didn't even bring it up, wouldn't even mention it. That's what a sellout Barack Obama has, was. That's what a sellout the Democrats are. She's not a sellout. She wasn't allowed to speak at the DNC. Well, Jimmy, just because they're protesting this, we shouldn't assume that that's what they want. And 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 plus, this is in Mississippi, one of the most progressive states in the union. So it certainly yeah. doesn't reflect everybody. Yeah. So this is a so this is a union action. And guess who shows up? Bernie frickin' Sanders shows up. Did Chuck Schumer show up? Did Nancy Pelosi? Did Hillary Clinton show up? We're it's capitalists. <laughs> <laughs> We're capitalists. Yeah, yeah. We don't believe in union. Did Bernie say who showed up? Bernie frickin' Sanders. Nina Turner. People who give a crap. That's who showed up. Was Christopher Hayes there to cover it? Was Rachel Maddow there to cover it? I hope Anderson Cooper was in a tight black polo shirt. Did they tell everybody that that mo that most of Nissan's factories are all unionized except for the ones in the south of America? Nope. I wonder. So that's what Democrats should be sound. That's like someone who knows, hey, when Barack Obama says, we got to get out to the fish fries. It's not just going out to the fish fries. It's going out to where unions are, where they're needed. 
and making the case for unions to people in red states. You don't make the case that we'll be a little nicer of a Republican. You make this the case for why the New Deal will help you. You make the case for why progressive democratic politics and policies will work for you. Why do unions work for you? Why is single payer good for you? Why is universal uh, college and education good for everybody? Why is why are ending the wars good for everybody? Why is a fifteen dollar minimum wage good for everybody? That's what that's what Demo- that's a fifty state strategy not going into places like mississippi and saying we're against abortion we're 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 a bunch of joe mansions we like trump you have to show people why trump is a con man and why the republicans are bereft of ideas because they are they've had eight years to come up with a health care plan and everyone knows they didn't and the democrats still they can't say that stuff that's, that can only if you say stuff like that, they don't let you go on the stage at the DNC and you wonder why the Democrats lost. You wonder why they're wiped out. I thought it had to do with mostly Susan Sarandon and Jill Stein and Jimmy Dore. I thought it had to do with people with no money and no power. Or does it have to do with the, that's what the Democrats should be doing, but none of them are doing it? Because they're beholden to corporate donors, which is why they get wiped out. And even when they win, we get a right-wing health care plan anyway. We get right-wing legislation when they win anyway. Jimmy, I want to add to this that um, according to the Common Dreams article by Sue Sturgis, uh, she's a director and regular contributor to the Institute of Southern Studies, she highlights how Nissan Canton plant received one point three billion dollars in tax breaks from that state so talk about these welfare corporations yes how much how many billions of dollars do we have to keep giving to corporate america or corporate international yes no it's it's not yeah you have to beg for crumbs that's neoliberalism beg for crumbs workers beg for crumbs and the profits go to the upper one percent and that's called uh that's called free markets that's called capitalism baby so you want to know what Democrats should sound like? Start. You can start sounding like that. You should start saying stuff like that. And she exactly what she's, I'm calling out. Where they should be here. They should be at places like this, standing up, showing unity with workers. But of course they're not. They're all they're all out with David Brock somewhere, and a bunch of other millionaires. I'm sure at a pool in Miami, talking about strategy. How do we message better? Well, and if Chris Hayes would have been there, he just would have went up to everyone and been like, so you care about unions, huh? But did you expect Trump to be this bad? <laughs> yeah, I could just see Chris Hayes. Can you look me in the eye, Danny Glover, and think this is this is how bad Trump would be? Did you really think it was going to be this bad? Could you look me in the eye? I know there's a union thing happening. We'll get to it, but could you look me in the eye? <laughs> hey, the next live Jimmy Dore show is March 4th. That's a Saturday. Get your tickets right below. The next one after that is March 20th. The shows sell out really fast, so get your tickets right now. Link's right there.